okay let's continue with the rest of this tutorial now the clear function here if I try it out it doesn't work and at the same time it does accept other characters that shouldn't be happening okay let's take care of the kit clear first we need to know the names of these okay let's, let's copy that double click on the player okay right there dot clear yeah that's the first one the second one here is number copy that let's pin this down and go back in here yeah. Paste dot clear. Now the third one, which is this other one, and paste it. In. The other two happens to be labels, so as a label. This one is label as well. LBL total text equals clear, and this other one is going to be LBL payment total. A uh, total payment there. Okay, that's taken care of. Now let's check out this. That's receipt copy that and paste that in there not clear okay so the next thing we need to do now is to take care of this one one two to make sure those two doesn't accept characters so let's come in here make sure you select these events okay this does it right here select the event and let's go for key press right here key press so i'm just gonna enter numbers on the score only all right press enter and right in there enter as follows if ASCII e dot key char less than and equals to eight then Let's copy this. Okay, use another if statement. And if ASCII less than 48 or ASCII less than greater than 57, then E dot handled equals true all right that should prevent the user from entering characters so let's run it and see okay we enter the correct pin number there click and let's come right in here enable we need to enable this one first i think we should disable all of those two okay we cannot enter characters anymore so that's fine okay that's good all right reset it's fine now one two works and we need to take care of these two all right so for the let's take care of this first double click on lock okay the first thing we need to do is to enter the following variables for the loan so let's close that and come in here those are the variables i intend to use they are all global variable okay all of this for the loan and then we now come in here double click on the loan and write in here those are the lines of codes for the loan okay have a look at it from here down here now the next thing we need to take care of is the receipt double click on the uh, 
we enter as follows for the receipt. Those are the lines of code for the receipt itself. Okay, let's run it and see. Okay, we enter right details in there. That's incorrect. It's going to give us an error. Clear. Enter the right details and click enter. So we can now enter our loan. Let's say three years. And the rate is that. Okay, click on that. That's good. Print out the receipt there. And we can also clear it. So that is the first part of it. It's taken care of. Now let's take care of maybe balance. Yeah, let's take care of this just let's design something very small for those ones okay so come in here exit yes and come right in here let's tab into maybe account balance okay for the balance these are the data that I've put into place you can always use an embedded database to take care of that but for the sake of time I just enter a couple of uh, objects in there and for the withdrawal the withdrawal the same thing I think the same thing is there now for the deposit this is what I've put together for the deposit okay now one thing I would like to do is to disable all of these tabs so I'll double click on my form right there so I'm going to let's just copy this tab copy that and right underneath here I'm going to say tab tab one dot enable equals false tab two dot enable equals false tab 3 dot enable dot enable equals false as well now tab 4 we're going to disable tab 4 as well okay now when we reset i would like all of this tab let's come in here clear all of those tabs i want them disabled now in here we will have a reset here so i like all of the tab reset as well I haven't entered any other thing here, just no buttons. Okay, so now if each of those tabs are because when I run the program now, you see the tab they are all disabled, nothing can be done. The only way out is if you enter the correct pin number. Okay, if the correct pin number is entered and you click on any of these. I want the tab to be enabled so now let's come in here this is tab I think this is tab what number okay tab control and this one is what that's one okay so in here double click on that so this one is going to now be one dot enable equals true yeah so I'm gonna copy that now balance is two that's tab two dot enable now Withdraw that was tab three changes to three. If 
finally tap four. Turn now to four. So if I run my system now and I enter the correct details there, these are the only components that can enable those types. You see that? Okay. And this can enable this as well. And so on. Alright, that is how the system works. Well, supposing we want to go back from we want to go back from one tab to the other, we can always click on this. Right. So if you want your balance, if you want your balance, that will be the only balance. Okay. All right. What I will do is in here. I will have command to disable the other tabs only if you want okay so this is two so for tab two let's go into form load right here copy all of this go into each individual so the only tab that is enabled there is tab two delete Okay, come in here that is tab number one the only enable tab will be two three and four this is tab four tab four now we want tab three there delete all of this okay I suppose you guys get the whole idea so if we run it now everything is disabled and you enter the correct pin number click on that and we can enable this but that does not mean any of these are enabled only if you click on this let's say you click on balance and that means this one is disabled now okay so that is much better so you can always then select your account type and so on in here okay so that will be another tutorial so you guys can always improve on that if you want so with this i'm going to just leave you guys with this for now so let's say years of payment you intend to go for and that's the percentage click on that check that out okay but there's one error here this need to be tapped on this so let's go back into the receipt right there those two come right down double click on the receipt and we need those two tabs okay copy that and repeat the same thing for this all right let's try it one more time enter the right okay and there let's go for 89,000 plus number of years 12 years interest rate 4.3 click and check that out so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you all enjoy it um please do subscribe you all have a nice day now bye for now